they've done, I think they did like this one experiment. No, I don't know if it's an experiment. I don't know what they manipulated in the languages. But either way, uh, they had like Japanese people take a gander at this uh, fish tank. And they had American people take a gander at this fish tank. And they just told them to just write about what they saw, right? And significantly, I, there's like a graph I could send you guys later because it's really interesting. But the American mm-hmm. people spoke significantly more about the focal point of the item, which is like a the fish. They, they talked about the fish mostly, right? They kind of ignored okay. the background stuff. Yeah. They kind of ignored the yeah. tank. Um, they talked about it, but just not nearly as frequently as Japanese people. Whereas the Japanese people tend to talk a lot more about the kind of like the system as a whole where they're talking about the fish tank yeah, as a whole and their relationships yeah. between like the fish and the background and the tanks and everything. And yeah. So I think uh, what my textbook just kind of summed it up is like Eastern culture and languages tend to result in a more holistic kind of cognitive style. Where you're looking at things more like a whole versus Western culture and languages. You tend to end up with a more analytical um, cognitive stuff. We kind of break things down a little bit more. Okay. I don't know. I w- would you guys have any thoughts on that at all? You guys find that, and then and also they also tied it into like the kind of um, focus more on like the individual on the individual and independence that there is here in the West versus in Eastern cultures is more of a focus on interdependence and I don't know. I guess I don't know, harmony or something. Some Uruguay shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, on that specifically, uh, I don't, I don't really think, especially living here and speaking English, I, I don't, and not being in the situation, I can't really tell you how I would uh, describe that. But I could tell you on the last point about uh, kind of individual uh, kind of um, versus more kind of a broad collective kind of sense just between the languages. Uh, I feel like um, languages and culture, they kind of uh, influence each other. Yeah. Like many things with culture, right? So I can't really just uh, put a causal relationship. It's more of a correlation, right? But mm-hmm. one thing I will say is that in like, especially English, the focus of um, yourself is absolutely huge. You see uh, in the capitalization of the I, you know, you see it uh, in needing to use uh, I or me or whatnot in every single situation. Um, Whereas in other languages, um, you don't have to use pronouns straight up just because the uh, conjugation already tells you, right? So uh, in several senses, English in particular really focus on the individual. 